This is James Riswick with Autoblog, and the rumors were true. Volkswagen has brought a pickup based on the Atlas here to the New York Auto Show. There are just two main questions. The first is, will they make it? And the second is, how do you pronounce its name? Tan Oak? So the Tanawak is nearly 16 inches longer than a normal Atlas, which itself is a very large vehicle. It has a bed on it that's about five feet long, and uh, it is a lengthened version of the MQB platform. It's also been raised up to a 10 inches of ground clearance. Now, powering the truck is the same 276 horsepower, narrow angle VR6 engine that makes 266 pound-feet of torque. Same thing that you can get in the Atlas. It goes to all four wheels, and Volkswagen says it should go from zero to 60 in 8.5 seconds, which, uh, you know, isn't that quick. But uh, off-road, the uh, Tanoak, takes advantage of two unique additions. There's a variety of settings for different types of terrain, and which is kind of normal for SUVs and trucks. And when things get really tough, there's a low range setting for the transmission, which is definitely something you cannot get on an Atlas. As for the design, there's plenty of ubiquitous LED lighting up front, including the VW badge that lights up. Wouldn't be surprised to see that on future higher-end Volkswagens. You also have Atlas emblazoned across the front. Frankly, the Tanook reminds us an awful lot of the Honda Ridgeline. And that's a concept that works quite well. It's very functional. It's a lot more comfortable than a normal mid-size pickup truck. But the Ridgeline isn't exactly the most popular pickup truck. And whether it makes sense for Volkswagen, well, I guess that'll depend on whether they make it or not.